Hey guys, how are you doing? I am here with an update. I know in my last video I said that I was engaged, I was going to be married soon, and I just wanted to go ahead and share with you the good and glorious news. I am newly married. Wait, wrong hand. I am newly married. I'm newly married. And I'm also, check this out, I am also newly mothered. I have a cantankerous wild animal here named Ellie who badly needs to be groomed, but she did very much want to say hello and, uh, you know, I wanted to show her off. She's crazy. Anyway, um, you know, the, <laughs> the reason that, that I wanted to give you this update is just, you know, uh, several days ago I had, I had this thought where it, it kind of dawned on me. If we just flash back in time, just a few years, just move back in time, just a few years, you see me not even, you know, most people, if they have a goal and they're having a rough time achieving that goal, right, they're in this tunnel. They're in this tunnel and they see this light, this light at the end of the tunnel. I'm like, okay, I can get to that light at the end of the tunnel. I'll be okay. I'm in this tunnel now. I'm getting to the light. No, not not even me. I didn't even have that. Just a few years ago, you reverse the tape, you know, just put the rewind just a little while. You see me just begging God to make it through the day. Begging God just, you know, my situation, my struggles, my mental problems, my anorexia is so bad. I fear that I will die if I continue in the condition that I'm in. Please just let me live out the day. Let me get tomorrow. Let me get the day after that. Let me continue to do this and maybe inch a little bit more to recovery each day. That was the sole goal that I had. There was, really wasn't this much uh, thought towards the future. There wasn't, there wasn't, you know, anything bright and shining light at the end of it all that I could hope toward and look forward to. There was nothing like that. It was just like, let me live. And, <laughs> you know, in realization of this fact, I find that today, I am just ridiculously blessed. There is just bizarrely blessed. There's nothing I can say about it. this. Is just ape shit blessed. Nothing I can say. Nothing I can say to adequately explain this. <sighs> You know, the social problems that I had, they were so ridiculous when I was going through anorexia. All the loneliness, all the kind of just locking myself up because, you know, you're around people. You can't be around people without eating or, you know, calories and people. They just go together like that. There's nothing you can do to avoid it. And so the fact that I was able to meet somebody as wonderful as the person that I married, you know, as wonderful as him. And just the, the way things have turned out is nothing but a blessing. And, you know, I, 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 I thought of that. I realized that. And I just wanted to encourage you and give you hope and say that, you know, today I look at my life and I see how blessed I am and how far I've come in just the last few years. The only thing I can do is be, be astounded and grateful. And I want to give you hope. I want to say that today, if you are in that place where there's like this, you know, you're in this box, this dark box, the dog is eating my bronzer. Don't get a dog. They're expensive and they eat everything you own. Tip. Helpful hint. Um, so, uh, but she's cute. I love her. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, you know, if, if right now you feel like you are really pinned down in the situation, there's no way out. You're in this box. You can't, you know, you're trying to flip on the light switch, get out of this. You're trying to open up the window, get out, and you can't. It gets better. It gets better. You're going to get out of it. You're going to make it. Your dog might eat your things along the way, but there's hope. There's hope. And there's hope that I didn't know existed. There was hope waiting for me that I, I <laughs> had not hoped for. And I, I, have, I have faith in you. I think that really the main key is perseverance. Figure out what you need to do. Figure out what you need to do to make this moment better, to make this situation better. If you were in something that is, you know, where you are a prisoner to a, you know, a, an eating disorder, to an addiction, to anything like that, figure out what you need to do in this moment, what tiny step you need to do in this moment to make things better. Figure out what that is. Find out what that is and continue with that damn movement until, you know, you've moved from day to day and things have just 
inch to long getting better because that's how it came for me. You know, honestly, that's that's how it came for me. There was a moment where it dawned on me that I really felt like God was going to get me through this, that I had recovered, that I was ready. But I tell you what, it was still a process getting okay with myself. Right now, I stand before you at 122 pounds. This is a, actually, I guess I'm sitting Indian style before you crisscross applesauce before you at 122 pounds and you know if I had seen that way on a scale if I had stood up on the scale and I had looked down and I saw 122.3 staring back at me I would have been like you know instantly instantly the whole hand would have been down the throat just hoping to vomit out a couple pounds and just like get this out of me and I find now that I'm you know everybody wishes they could look different Everybody wishes a little bit, but I find now that I realize I'm where I should be. I'm where I am when I do the combination of eating sensibly, you know, keeping that 1,200 calories a day and exercising for 30 minutes a day, which is all I can accommodate in my life schedule. I, I weigh this much. I am doing everything that I can to be healthy. And this is what I am given. And this is what I need to accept. Because the most important thing in life is not how much you weigh. It's not this. It's not that. It's the quality of your life. And I tell you what, the quality of my life now exceeds anything that I ever felt when I was 85 pounds, when I was 90 pounds, when I was 100 pounds, when I was 110. When, I'm, when I am where I am right now, my quality of life exceeds anything before anything. I don't have to cry and fuss over my weight because this is what I made. If you don't like it, if you don't like it, it's me. What am I going to do? Am I going to starve myself? Am I going to hurt my body? Am I going to do that? No, because I've been there and I tell you what, it's hell. It's hell. It's hell. Love yourself. Love yourself. Be healthy. Love yourself. And, you know, if you're at a place where you can't just openly just wrap your big Papa Bear arms around who you are supposed to be, where you're supposed to be, go ahead and just work toward it inch by inch because you're going to get there and you'll get to a point where you say, I am where I'm supposed to be. And really the blessings will follow. You'll be so pleased. <laughs> Truly, you'll be so pleased. I, I cannot. The happiness that I feel when I look at where I am compared to where I used to be, it's amazing. The other thing that I wanted to share with you, and this is really, I feel bad about saying this, but the tipping point in making this video is when I got this little buddy. All right, so I used to have an iPhone 3S um, that was a motherfucker. I feel bad for putting it in that kind of language, but that is what it was. You know, I'd be there with my thumbs and I have these cadavers fingers. There was no helping them. They are cadavers. They're cold. And this touch screen was just like, there was nothing happening. I would, nothing happening. And so I got this thing and it, it like, it talks to me. It talks to me. And it's like, uh, how do I get to Siri? I can text message and everything. Hang on. Siri. To whom shall I send it? I need a contact name, phone number, or email address. Drew. Okay, I can send a text to Drew. Love for you. What would you like it to say? I love you, boo! Exclamation point. I updated your message. Ready to send it? Send. Okay, I'll send it. Kaboom! What? I don't even have to use my sausage fingers. Cadaver's fingers. That's crazy. Anyway, I wanted to show you that because that's ridiculous. Um, if your plan will allow you to upgrade for cheap like mine did, Upgrade? What the hell? That's amazing. Anyway, um, I love you guys. If you have problems, if you agree, if you're at some place where you need help, send me a message. I'll, I'll, I'll try to get back to you, alright? Love you guys. Bye.